you know, this is what I wish I would have had when I was sort of that prime age. Like, if I had it, maybe I would have listened to less grunge music or something. <laughs> Ashley Victoria Robinson, thank you for joining us live in the Poppers here at New York Comic Con, and I am here with two of the geniuses behind the upcoming American-born Chinese series. I am here with Kelvin Yu and Ben Wong. Welcome. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> How has your New York Comic Con been so far? It's, it's good. A lot of hallways. Um, <laughs> A lot of hallways. Yeah. Don't tell them about the hallways. Oh right. <laughs> That's what it. Means. It's awesome. It feels really cool here. It's. It, I mean, we've been to San Diego. I've been to San Diego a few times, but I don't know. Something about New York feels even more intense. It's great. It's and we're getting you just off the panel. There was a lot of great reception to the clips and all of the secrets that you shared. What was it like feeling the energy in the room in anticipation of the show? It was really cool. Yeah. I, yeah like, you know, we've been sort of making this thing in a vacuum for so long that like, you're like, oh, people are going to see this. A lot of people at the same time, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we forgot that people were going to see it. Yeah. Uh, no, we've literally, I mean, I've been editing it in my own house for, you know, four months or something. So to bring it out into a physical space is awesome. And to have people receive it that way, it's like, it is chilling in, in a great way. What is it like to make something like that in a COVID safe bubble? Is it more stressful? Super easy. Stressful? It's totally easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, it was obviously you have to respect everybody's health first and foremost. Mm -hmm. That's obviously most important. And we did have a couple of moments where everybody just stops working for a couple of days. Um, but overall, um, our team did a great job. Um, it's just, it's already hard to do something like that, to do it on top of, and also you didn't know what a lot of people's faces looked like until lunch. Um, because of the mask? <laughs> because of the mask. <laughs> so like, oh, he's a mustache. I didn't, didn't see him as a mustache guy. But, um, but it was great and we, we pulled it off. What about being on set? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's that. Um, <laughs> you didn't know it was Michelle Yeoh. No, I didn't until she took the mask off. Yeah. So, wow, it's Michelle. Was there a lot of challenges for you dealing with playing both a really grounded real world character and then having a lot of fantastical elements brought into your personal story? I mean, it, it is and it isn't because it's like you. I understand how to do the grounded stuff, mm -hmm. and then when the fantastical things happen, it's usually with like a huge star like Michelle Yeoh. It's like, <laughs> oh wow, it, you know, it's like it's you know, in the show they're like deities from folklore, and in real life she's like this person that I've been hearing about and seeing on you know film for all my life. So it's sort of analogous. Okay, I'm going to ask you a tough question because somebody important may be standing off to the side. Had you both read the source material before coming onto the show? Still haven't. And I won't. I won't. I don't. I know you couldn't pay me enough. Couldn't pay me to read the graphic. <laughs> um, yes, I had. I had read it, and it, it is an important. It was an important book to me, um, and there's nothing like it. Um, it's it's really. And then meeting Gene, I met him on a panel at Netflix, actually, just like about just for Asian American representation, and um, and over the course of time, I got to know him, and it only got more profound to me because he his, he's such a incredible generational storyteller, and so getting a chance to work with him was was really great. Yeah, I remember uh, I because you know this is the graphic novel is taught a lot in schools. Yes. It's something that I found out because I didn't you know I was not taught this. Uh, you know, this was not part of my curriculum in, in Northfield, Minnesota. Um, but I remember reading it for the first time and going like, oh my God, I wish, that, you know, this is what I wish I would have had when I was sort of that prime age. Like if I had it, maybe I would have listened to less grunge music or something. <laughs> Wait, what do you listen when you go to set every day? What is the preparational track Good question. List? What do you listen to? <laughs> you want to, the, the, the truth? It's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I, is it musicals? N no. <laughs> <laughs> no? No, it's, 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 it's like a lot of new wave music. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're cool. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> do you have an American-born Chinese playlist that you're listening to when you're working on the show? <laughs> um, it's really just Oklahoma, Music Man. <laughs> um, no, I love, oh, what a beautiful America. morning. There, yeah, no, but actually we do have an American-born Chine uh, Chinese music list that was put together by our music supervisor mm -hmm. of um, just Asian-American artists. And it's incredible. I mean, there's so many talented um, young artists coming up. And so we've been able to populate the show with some of those um, songs, too. So I do listen to that quite a bit. And is that going to be accessible for people to find? I hope so. <laughs> Spotify, Disney Plus, yeah. please. We'll yeah. Why was Disney Plus the perfect place for you to work making the show? I feel like it's the perfect fit for what we're trying to do, right? And for as, as like the people that we're trying to reach. Like I said, the book is the thing I wish I had when I was sort of that 
age. And yeah. this show is also what I wish I had, you know? And I think on Disney Plus, it's going to be able to reach. Yeah. That. Yeah, I, did, I didn't, I'm not like, super interested in Nordic mythology, but I like Loki, you know, and then they, I might be more interested in Nordic mythology after Loki. And I feel the same way about some of these Chinese characters. Mm -hmm. It's like, you just throw them on screen and you show your audience how cool they are. And then all of a sudden it's, it's normalized and it's a little bit more part of the, the American, you know, culture and canon. So I think Disney Plus is perfect. Everything from Darth Vader to Thor to, you know, Elsa and Anna, you know, and so why not, why not the Monkey King? I am imagining a Darth Vader v Monkey King crossover yes. and it seems very powerful. Yeah, there, there'll be like some kind of super friends video game where Darth yes. Vader's fighting uh, Oh my Elsa. God, American Board Chinese, the video game? <laughs> yeah. We love it. We're speaking it into existence. Heard it here first. <laughs> I would love for you to tell anybody listening who's aspiring creatives, aspiring filmmakers and talent, what is your best advice? I would say start now and be bad. Be bad now in private, in front of your friends and family, and every day be a little less bad. And then <laughs> so one of these days, you're kind of good. And then um, hopefully it all works out. Yeah. The secret is when you're like working professionally, you're still allowed to be bad. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that people will tell you, and then you keep doing it until you're good. <laughs> and then that's the one they put in the trailer. <laughs> I, it sounds like I'm joking, but I'm serious. I, I, so many people, it's just starting. Yeah. Just the beginning of really. just opening the blank page or getting up on a blank stage or whatever it is. Just start. And then lastly, because here in the Pop First, we celebrate the best in TV, movies, and comics. What are you geeking out about right now that you're not working on? I, I'm geeking out about Mythic Quest. I, I'm late to the party on Mythic Quest, but boy, oh boy, do I love it. There's a new Gundam out. I'm a big... Yes. Yeah? I love Gundam. Rich from Mercury? Oh, Come yeah, on! Bye -bye. First Gundam in seven years? Yes. Let's go! <laughs> in the, seven years? The, There's yes. no one I'm talking yes. about. Yes. Go up and see the booth. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you for joining us here in the Pop First today. Celebrate American Born Chinese! Thank you so much. Thank you.